seen any good pay-per-views lately? I've been a fan of wrestling slash a part of wrestling for more than half my life, and I have never seen a reaction so emotional, so visceral, so angry as it relates to the result of this past week's Royal Rumble match. I've never seen a situation where the live audience and the internet fans were on such a united front as they were on Sunday night. Watching the pay-per-view, watching the Rumble match, from about the time Batista got into the match to like number 30, the crowd was dead quiet. I have never heard a WWE crowd that sound so quiet that you could hear someone fart in the ring at an audible level. It can get that uncomfortably quiet at a lot of indie shows, but no, never WWE. That was a big deal. Then Rey Mysterio comes out at number 30, everyone realizes Daniel Bryan's not going to be in the Rumble match, and oh my god, the floodgates opened. It was amazing! The biggest heels in wrestling in the last decade have not gotten the level of boos that that Royal Rumble match did. Cena gets mixed reactions. John Cena, he got booed uh, a little bit when he won the Royal Rumble match last year, but it was never so clear-cut, one-sided, so unanimous as it was when Batista won this past Sunday. In all my years of observing wrestling, I've never seen such a stubborn battle between a complacent wrestling organization and a vociferous fan base. The fans are making their voices heard literally, but the company does not seem to notice or care. I'm not even mad about the situation. I'm not even really a Daniel Bryan homer. I'm just kind of fascinated by this conflict and what's happening right now. This is like what happened with Zack Ryder or Fandango only like times a million. This Daniel Bryan phenomenon is not just some smart thing. It's not just some incident where the smart fans in the bigger cities are getting in on the act and just hijacking the shows. No, this is a legitimate thing. Everyone is behind this guy from city to city, from state to state. This is legit. I think the Royal Rumble, and especially that match, the Royal Rumble match, proved one thing. is that WWE is wanting to push nostalgia over everything else in the company. You have the return of Batista, you have the New Age Outlaws winning the tag team titles, which by the way, what the hell is that about? Kevin Nash in the Rumble, you got JBL in the Rumble, you have Brock Lesnar making these sporadic appearances, you have Cena, Orton fighting off for the umpteenth time. The whole idea of the WWE Network is that you can watch classic shows and see classic wrestlers and classic pay-per-views, and even recent WrestleManias the last few years have been nothing more than giant nostalgic circle jerks. It would be like if the NFL did everything they could to just downplay and just silence fans of like Colin Kaepernick or Russell Wilson or Andrew Luck, the future young stars of the NFL, and if they just focused entirely, well, let's ignore those guys and let's just keep talking about Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, and hey, while you're at it, go to the NFL Network and you can see all their classic matches against each other. I think the Royal Rumble match kind of encapsulated everything that's wrong with WWE today as far as like who they want to push, the old versus the new, and their unwillingness to kind of make that leap to the future of wrestling. But the fact that it was done on such a grand stage, like everyone saw it, everyone knew about it. This wasn't just some, you know, like battleground or vengeance. It was one of the four biggest pay-per-views of the year. The fact that it happened on such a grand stage, I mean, this could be the catalyst for some massive sea change in the company. And if WWE doesn't make that change soon, it could come back to haunt them in a big way. However, what if we're all being worked right now? Keep in mind, there's a lot of time between now and WrestleMania. Daniel Bryan is already in the Elimination Chamber match. He could easily find himself back in the main event. I just keep thinking this, this head in the sand mentality the company is having in regards to reactions and crowd chants for Daniel Bryan, it's almost absurd to the point of parody. Like they're, they're self-aware, like almost like it's part of the show now. Could this be all part of some elaborate, wacky plan by WWE just to shake things up, to push fans to the brink of rioting, and then finally give them what they want, give them the outcome these people have wanted to see since SummerSlam? It could happen, but I'm pretty sure that the company is not smart enough to pull that off. Only time will tell. So where do you stand in the Daniel debacle? Are you a yes man who believes that Daniel Bryan should be in the main event? Or do you think that it's a bit overreacting, that he's overrated, he shouldn't be in the main event? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to send me a tweet or an email. Let your voice be heard. I'm Brian Zane, and I'll see you next time.